A devastating wrong was righted in Louisiana today. Governor John Bell Edwards posthumously pardoned Homer Plessy. Now, in 1892, Plessy was arrested for refusing to leave a whites-only railroad car in protests of racial segregation. His case inspired the U.S. Supreme Court ruling that cemented separate but equal into law for half a century. BNC's Jamise Price, she's live in New Orleans where the ceremony just wrapped up. Jamise? Tashani, it was in this very spot where Mr. Homer Plessy was arrested for refusing to leave that white-only train car. Today, just a block from this marker, Louisiana addressed the wrongs of this country. Homer Plessy was posthumously pardoned, his record wiped clean. It was a moment shared by Plessy's descendants and the descendants of Louisiana Judge John H. Ferguson, who convicted Plessy for violating the state's Separate Car Act of 1890. Because the ancestors are carrying me, and you know that's that's why I feel the way I do about this. I'm so happy today. You know, I, I could have cried several times, but I'm too happy to, to cry. It is our union, Plessy and Ferguson, that makes the statement that we can come together to change the unjust laws that have caused so much harm in this country. And we want to be a symbol and inspire folks to come together and work through their differences. All right, and as you heard earlier, Janice was having some audio issues, so I'll pick up where she left off. Mr. Homer Plessy died with a criminal record. Today, it was wiped clean, and his legacy was made whole.